Hi, everybody. Brees Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Pirates haven't only flirted with disaster, they courted disaster, they romanced disaster, they've married disaster, they've become one with disaster. So finally, now at rock bottom, there's only one way to go, and they finally go up. That's going to do it for us. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming right at you. Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I are back at halftime. Anticipating the kickoff just moments away. And now let's head down to the coin toss. It is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calorie. Enjoy everything. We're ready to get this one underway as the teams have lined up for the opening kick. He's to the 20. He makes it to the 28 yard line. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Get to that quickly. They'll bring him down at the 35. That'll bring up second and three. line they picked up some nice blocks to allow that back to get in there for some extra yardage protection a good pass and even a better catch you can't ask for much more than that and he's tackled around the 44 yard line But the defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only did they get the quarterback, but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that can really create some confidence for this defense. The next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun shy and concerned about the pressure that these defense is putting on it. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 37. like that and the game will be done before you know it. They cannot let these receivers get behind them.
strong run by the halfback to get into the end zone. He's a pretty sure bet to get six when you're this close to the end zone. And he adds the extra point. A quick update now. Here's Reese. Let's take a look at Orange. And for Kansas, they've won two straight. The Jayhawks cruise by 19. All right, thanks, Reese. Washington. East Carolina to kick this one off. Washington fields at the goal line. They'll bring him down at the 26. The Tar Heels always have guys that are near the top statistically, and that's no exception today. We're really looking forward to watching this kid play. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Quick strike to the receiver, and he's taken down around the 30-yard line. Douglas on the tackle with the 30-yard line. That brings him second and five. Right around the 30. Gets it out to the back. First down. That makes it first and 10. screen pass and they make the stop at about the 49 this isn't even the best example but I'm gonna tell you something this young man is really getting better at running his routes which is a truly underrated quality these days flips it middle to the running back what a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. And he is drilled at the 44. Once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Wide out makes the first down catch. Davis makes the technical at the 37 yard line. First down. It's a carry left side, and they got to him before he could get back to the line. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Great defensive end in, in college football just pins his ears back and has, again, that extra instinct to know when to jump the snap count, when to take a chance on third down. And it seems like they almost save their extra pass rush and extra incentive as far as their, their energy when it really matters on a third down, when they feel like they can beat that offensive tackle and get off the line of scrimmage a little bit quicker. And that's something that I think we've seen him do throughout this game. Knocked out of bounds. 31. I know the defense would have liked to have prevented such a big game, but the important thing is that they held and brought up fourth down. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Stop by the defense. 
Defense stiffens on fourth down, and the ball will change hands. The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. Well, I think the defense right now is just sitting back on their heels. They're allowing the offense to kind of dictate things to them. I mean, one thing is that any defensive coordinator will tell you in the country, you have to be the one trying to dictate things to the offense. So change it up. Try something different. If it's not working, you can't continue to sit back on your heels. East Carolina is up seven. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's at the 40. Inside the 30. To the 10. He's all the way. Touchdown. Excellent play here by the quarterback, making the proper reads and finding his playmaker for the score. And he hits the PAT. A short two-play, 72-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Well, Brad, right now this offense is hot, and they also took advantage of some mistakes there by the defense. There are three quarters remaining. The Pirates lead it by two touchdowns. Dubzinski looks ready to kick this one off. From his own goal line, He's to the 20. The 30. And he's tackled at the 31-yard line. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. He chucks it downfield. And that play could have gone for six. Oh, boy, you're right. And all week long, this secondary did a lot of talking about how they were going to dominate these receivers. I think this is time that they step up and prove it on the field. Forget about talking trash. Let's see how they react after giving up that big play. And it's almost picked off. You like a team that's ready to defend the pass. It takes some preparation to get in the way of a pass like that. From the 34-yard line. It's second down. He gets hit out of bounds at about the 15-yard line. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. Quick throw incomplete one of his receivers. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 15. Caught over the middle. Tackle at the 7. Runs outside for a nice game. Game of six yards. That makes it first and goal. Touchdown, Tar Heels. just plowed his way into the end zone. Yeah, but it wasn't all him. The offensive lineman just pancaked the defense on that one. Perfect job there of spreading out that defense and then going to the ground game. He splits the uprights with the extra point. North Carolina lines up for the kickoff. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 27-yard line. A 
In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. East Carolina up seven points. Throws complete, and he's hit hard behind the line. That'll be a loss of one. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. Quick throw to the back. It's incomplete. I think the defense jumped the gun a little bit on that play. Defense. And he helped the offense with that penalty. And you have to be careful here because the offense will get a free play, which could become even more costly than the five-yard penalty. From their own 31-yard line, second down. Quick out to his receiver. Tackle made at about the 39-yard line. Passes are going to help the quarterback's confidence. It's a bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Short over the middle. He's tackled around the 34 yard line. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. He steps out to the 28 yard line. East Carolina is up a score. Zings it over the middle. Touchdown. He makes the PAT. It was an eight-play, 73-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brett, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync, making it very tough for the defense to slow them down. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 20-yard line. Boy, the two offensive coordinators have to be loving this. In fact, you can look over in our booth next to us and see how much they're enjoying it with the big smile on their face. The defensive coordinators, on the other hand, might be looking for a pink slip on Monday. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. That's a great tackle at the 48-yard line. Wants to throw outside. Finds the junior. And he's level at the 30-yard line. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back to pass. They'll bring him down at the 13. 
13 yard line. Second down. He gets to about the five. Call it a gain of eight yards. That'll bring up third and two. Looking for his man, incomplete. Should be an easy field goal. He gets it up and it splits the uprights. North Carolina is lining up to kick this one off. Gathered in at the six. He's tackled at the 32. The Pirates are just cruising through this first half, Herbie. Really a comfortable lead here. Yep, but still a lot of football left to be played. they got to remember that it's a four-quarter game, and even though that first half went pretty well, things can change in a hurry. They punched it in for six on the last series. Can they do it again? <laughs> this offensive coordinator has got to be feeling so good about the execution that he's seeing from his quarterback and his wide receiver. Because, again, they put so much time into trying to put a plan together. And to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play caller. They lose four there. But that play was sort of out of sync from the start. But you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. On the throw, incomplete pass. Accuracy is such a vital part of being a quarterback. You've got to have an ability to lay the ball right into your guy's hands. Third and 14 coming up here. Ball on the 28. He's under pressure. He wants it all going long. And he holds it in deep downfield. He's taken down at the 34. You know, they did a great job here of not just getting past the first down marker, but picking up some major yards on the play. Wants it all. Fires quickly. Touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. Zinski gets set to kick this one away. He'll return it from the one. Tackle at the 27. Nicholas' play has been up to what the coaches had hoped for. And they told us this week, you know, we're going to feed this guy as much as possible. But when you're trailing like this, you got to change some things up. I think you will. I think you're, you're going to see them make some changes. Uh, he's done well, but it's not well enough to give this team the lead. And that means they're going to have to try to start to throw the football, take some of the pressure off of him, and maybe they, uh, by throwing the ball, then if they have some success there, then they can go back to running the football and, and trying to have that balanced attack. North Carolina is going to use their first time out of the half here. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Under pressure. And a quick throw. He's at midfield. And he hits him hard at the 43. North Carolina is going to have to use their second time out of the half. On the ball, on the ball, on the ball. Let's go! Black 
Quick toss. And down he goes at the 19. Fires it out, and he's tackled at about the nine yard line. Davis makes the tackle at the nine yard line. Wheels it out to the right to the halfback, and he's taken down at the two-yard line. With the pass incomplete. Second down, goal to go. Two yards to the end zone. Touchdown, UNC. And he converts the extra point. Miller has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. He'll return it from the six. They'll bring him down at the 29-yard line. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force him into a mistake. Now that is exactly how you draw up the option. When this offense is executing the option effectively, they are a tough team to stop from moving the ball. He sails it long. Got a man, open touchdown. For Green, that's his fourth touchdown pass of the half. This passing attack has been unstoppable. The secondary doesn't know what hit him. And he adds the extra point. A quick two-play, 71-yard drive. And the result, seven points. Boy, that is scoring in a hurry. This offense is looking more and more explosive. With only a few ticks left on the clock before halftime, I would expect they'll just quick kick this one. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 28. We've played a half of football here. The Pirates with an 18-point cushion. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. When we come to the studio, I like to give you a peek behind the curtain. I don't want to just give you scores and highlights and analysis. I want to let you know what happens in here. Pull it back, brother. You know how good these offenses were in the first half. How good were these offenses? So good, you were loving it. <laughs> you have this big persona, big, tough defensive guy. You were loving that offensive performance. I don't know what you're talking about. I went to the snack room about five minutes into this game. Not true. And, uh, it, it's, it is fun. You, you do appreciate good offense. I mean, sometimes it's really bad defense, and then sometimes you see the designs of plays and the offensive coordinator dialing up perfect time to go long. Think about it. You get a few good positive runs. Everybody starts to commit. You take shots down the field. Sometimes the offenses do dial up great plays. Sometimes the defenses afford them that opportunity by dialing up bad plays. Right now, the OCs are on point. We've done what we can do here at halftime. Time to get you back out to the second half. We'll keep an eye on everything going on in college football. Brad Nestler and Kirk Herbstreet ready with a call.
And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. Washington fields it at the three. Across the 30. And he's tackled at the 37. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. Complete and he stopped immediately. Anderson with the tackle at the 44 yard line. That makes it third and three. Pulls it in, first down, and he's knocked out of bounds. That makes it first and ten. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Scrambling around. They bring the quarterback down. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. the 37-yard line. Not sure what the flag is about here. Let's go down to the field and find out. Offense. That penalty drives them back, and they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, if they could just keep their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. So it's second down and long now after the penalty. Fights forward to around midfield. like they've got the block on and this offensive line's got to give him some time room around the corner Dunbar fields it at the 22 he's taken down at the 49 and what a game it's been for the actor. well this is really just one of those games where it's all coming together he's making the right reads he's delivering the football in rhythm and the most important thing is he's playing with confidence quarterback's done just a phenomenal job and you look back at some of these touchdowns you can see that he has the vision he's seeing the whole field and he's putting his offense in a position to be able to move the ball down the field this guy's doing a great job overall they're ready to begin another drive they'll spread the field with five wide fires out to his wide and he is drilled at the 40. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Gets it out quick and it's going the other way. And he tackles him hard at the 41 yard line. Well, that's exactly what they needed, Brad. Somehow to get the football back to their own offense. They need points on the board and they need them. And that turnover could help them out. First and 10. Ball on their own 41. Yeah. 
yards here. Taking back a yard. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated them there. Here comes the defense. Almost picked off. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the five. Fires out quickly to the tail end. And they make the stop out of the 47 yard. He made the catch, but he didn't get the first down. Yeah, right now, the way this defense is swarming, there's just no room for him to get upfield for the first down. Downing is waiting for the snap. Brought down at the 27-yard line. The Tar Heels have simply rocked the college football world with an astounding effort in this one. This is one of the biggest upsets I think we've seen all year. You know what's great? They didn't worry about any of the outside distractions. They just kind of locked in to themselves and their coaches getting ready for this football game, and it's really paid off for them. Fires incomplete. Well, he tried to thread the needle with that pass. Well, here the quarterback makes a poor decision throwing into coverage. He needs to look at his progression and find the second and third receiver. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 27. Looks quick to his tight end, and he can't hang on. Brown was the intended receiver on the play. That brings up third and ten. Roger, Roger. Hey, check Mike 57. Mike 57. Hey, we gotta get to the ball, team. We gotta get to the ball. Let's keep moving. Nice pitch and catch for the first down. Tackle made around the 43-yard line. That's a loss of about three. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. From their own 40-yard line, it's second down. Passes it to the middle of the field. He's tackled around the 44-yard line. was the intended receiver on the play. That's going to bring up fourth down. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. Cox is back deep to return. Gets to about the 27-yard line. The last time this offense had the ball, it was three and out. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. Tackle at the 36. They're just one quarter away. The Pirates with an 18-point cushion. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Corner by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Brought down at the 42 yard line. Gaining six on the play. First down. They come out in a five wide set. Second and seven. Navajo! Navajo! 
pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And they push him out at about the 39-yard line. That makes it first and 10. They'll line up with five wide receivers. the 33 fires out to his receiver logan gains six yards with a short completion that'll make it second and four and he's hit immediately that's good for a game over two yards first down we got swung the ball swung the ball Five wide. Fires that quickly incomplete. That makes it second. From the 19 yard line. Second down. He's taken down at the 21 yard line. They try to counter Trey there, but the defense read it nicely. It's amazing the read and recognition skills of these linebackers. They just always seem to have a beat on the play. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Fires right side. Got his tailback. That's a great tackle at the 12-yard line. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. And he's knocked out immediately after the catch. Gain of 11 yards. That makes it first and goal. Less than three minutes in the game. Goes quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. Kirk, you and I have talked to the coaches. We've talked to his teammates. Everybody says this kid's a real deal. We're about ready to find out. We've got second and goal. One yard to the goal line. Touchdown, North Carolina. Back just plowed his way into the end zone. Yeah, but it wasn't all him. The offensive lineman just pancaked the defense on that one. And the quarterback stays on the field as they try for the two-point conversion. And they get the two. So the hands team does their job, and the onside is not successful. When people talk about special teams winning football games, they're usually talking about blocking kicks and big returns. But the onside return team can be just as important. And right now, these guys may have sealed the deal with that recovery. And he's tackled at the 26-yard line. From the 26-yard line, first down. Carolina will take their first time out of the half. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown.
And he hits the PAT. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. Looking for the corner. They'll bring him down at the 35. And as the defense comes back out, you can be sure they're thinking about that score they surrendered the last time around. Throws complete. He's got room to work. He gets hit out of bounds around the 41-yard line. That makes it first and 10. From the 41 yard line. First down. Throws it to the outside. The defender had it and then dropped it. Just under two to go in the game. Gets it, he's in space. Steps out of bounds at the 40-yard line. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 31. Got a man, watch out here. Touchdown, UNC. Splits the uprights with the extra point. Tackle at the 38. Boy, the two offensive coordinators have to be loving this. In fact, you can look over at our booth next to us and see how much they're enjoying it with a big smile on their face. The defensive coordinators, on the other hand, might be looking for a pink slip on Monday. Defense just torched the defense through the air with a great passing attack on their last drive. Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack a defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job in being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback put the ball right on the mark. It's second and nine. Ball on the 37-yard line. Here he goes. And down he goes at the 22-yard line. You talk about a dual-threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. A little over a minute in the game. Give to the tailback. He tackles him for a loss. That was just a case of one lineman dominating another and making the play. So it's second and 13. Ball five. And he's taken down at the 25. Makes it out to about the 16.
North Carolina's team with a tough loss there, but the way their star played today, I think they can maybe build on that for next week. Well, I think that's the thing they've got to focus on. As you said, it's a tough loss for this team, but when you have a great performance by your star player and you're trying to build for the future, they really need to focus on his try to build this team around his ability to make plays. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.